Hey guys, today we're going to solve fleet code problem number 1556, 1000 separator. So this is an easy problem and it was featured today in the bi-weekly contest. So we're given an integer named n as an input, input parameter and we need to add a dot as the 1000 separator and return it as a string. So here's some example. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is pretty straightforward. So we're going to set up some variables initially. One is going to store our result and later on we're going to have to return this result. But since we're going to add the digits from the end of the number, we're going to have to reverse it before returning it. And since we have to return the result in string format, we need to convert the array to a string by doing this operation. Then I'm going to also initialize a variable called added with the number zero. So this will keep track of how many digits we've already added in our array. So now we're going to ver convert our number to decimal string. So this is the same as writing 10 as a parameter here. Then we're going to loop through our number converted to a decimal, decimal string, but we're going to start from the end and go towards the start. Then for every digit in our number, we're going to push it into the result array. Then we're going to say that we have pushed one more number in, so we're going to increment our added variable. And then we just check if added is divisible by three as exactly without remainder, then we need to also add a dot. This would be the thousand separator. And so now there's just one edge case left, which is what if the last addition of a digit here causes this to push a dot to our array. We wouldn't want our result to have a leading dot in the front. So we're going to have a conditional. If the last element of our result array is a dot, then we just pop it. So we remove the dot. If, it, if there is a leading dot, we remove it. And you're going to see that it does indeed work. It's very straightforward. So this is optimal. And it is in uh, O of N solution, where N is the length of the number. And it is an O of N space complexity, because we need to store everything in uh, this uh, result variable. So there is no way to do it any better, because you know we need to use at least an array that keeps the result before returning it. So this is optimal, at least asymptotically. So that's it for now, and bye.